Uh, it, I got to sort through it. I, I like uh, that we have real competition. That, that's what, as I said to the team afterwards, we've been talking about all spring, summer, and fall. They finally went out and proved there's real competition inside the program. And uh, I thought we missed Verdell's steadiness. I thought we missed uh, the leadership that he's bringing to the table. I thought that was apparent. I think it's very apparent that it was Maurice Creek's first time under the lights since December, and he wants to be right back where he was when he left off, and it doesn't work that way. And it's, it, it, like I've said to all of you and said to him and anybody else, it's going to be a process. Uh, for him, there can't be an expectation level on him right now. But I thought uh, I thought we did some good things. I thought we moved the basketball pretty well. And uh, uh, our energy was good. Uh, too many turnovers from guys that shouldn't be turning the ball over. And everybody's got uh, adjustments to make. Uh, but everybody is showing that there's, that there's like I said, there's be real competition this year for minutes inside the program. Daniel Moore looked pretty good out there. Did a very good job. Very, very good point guard tonight running his team. And, and they got confidence early with three straight turnovers and, and three layups. And, uh, that, and, he, and he was instrumental in that. I think he had two of the first three. Yeah. So that, that's, that's really important. And he played like a junior. Played like a guy that's in competition. And uh, played like a point guard. And I thought that was really good to see. Through the practices and in the scrimmage, the defense headed towards Well, we, the one thing, we, we, uh, we have not gone up and down a lot. And we have not had a lot of scrimmaging, per se. I think that showed a little bit because we're trying to really get a half-court defense right and uh, trying to gain some offensive continuity and things of that nature. So we'll continue to build on those things. But I'm not disappointed in that at all. We've had 13 practices and a lot of scrimmage and, and uh, a lot of room for growth, but a lot of time to get there. What about Guy, 14 and 10? I thought Guy, I thought Guy did a really good job of getting loose in the game, getting on the glass. Uh, his teammates found him. He was in position. He moved as well on penetration tonight as he has the entire time that, that we've been in, in, in practice. And he ran the floor. He didn't get winded. He, he's not a gazelle just yet. And he's not in tremendous shape yet. But, but uh, he did a nice job. And there's no doubt that he is, he's got a real opportunity to help us. Lawford really showing an all-around game today. What do you like about him tonight? Well, I like that. Just what you said, all around. And he, and he had a good disposition defensively. He worked very hard. He moved, uh, uh, moved without the ball, made shots, took good shots, got to the rim. Really like the way he dropped his shoulder and, 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 and drove to the basket because that's been a big, big point of emphasis with his improvement. Overall, everybody's got to rebound the ball better. I know he had a good number, but everybody's, you know, we're, we're not just uh, savages on that offensive board yet. And, and everybody's got to get to that. But there's a lot of thinking going on out there right now, too. There's a lot of thinking. There's not a lot of just relax and play cause, because offensively, you know, we don't have a, a real rhythm to us yet. But I thought he did a really good job in the context of the entire game. I thought it moved, but I thought we passed up a lot of shots tonight. And, and uh, we over-penetrated some. And uh, uh, Victor, one of the points I made here in the game is he's getting somewhere, but it's taking him too long to get there. You know, too many dribbles. We've got to really work on him being more explosive with the ball because obviously he's an extremely explosive athlete. So he's got to be in a situation. We have to put the, you know, the rule I put in with perimeter guys in the past is is two dribbles in the front court, and I mean, we're not quite ready to do that with him yet. But he's got to learn that 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 dribble is is a drive, and, and anytime you can turn it into a drive, something good can happen. You don't want to just dribble the ball. But he's young and he's learning. He's aggressive. He's attentive, and he's very hungry. And, and uh, uh, I think when your young guys are moving the ball, it's a good example that your older guys are moving the ball. And I thought we did a, a decent job of that with a lot of room for growth. What do you think of the crowd on the turnout tonight? Love it. Tremendous energy in there. I mean, I uh, was getting updates through dinner at, at the crowd and then to walk out and see that many people. And and, and all the children, I, I don't know what the number was. I know we had 7,800. I don't know what the number of children was, but I don't think we had 50, 60 children the first year that we did it in the, in the parade. I mean, we had so many, so many. I mean, we had to, was wrapping around the, the court a couple of times. So I love that. It, this has become a tradition. We tried to, to, to do even more with it and turn it into a nighttime event. We'll just stick with that. And uh, just love the entire evening, the energy of it, the way the people came out and supported it, and the way people have stayed. I and mean, it's 10 o'clock, and we still got a lot of people out there getting autographs. So I think that speaks a lot about the Indiana 
faithful in the Hoosier Nation. Victor had a few really nice assists. How have you seen him just getting comfortable with the offense? Well, I, I think uh, he's a natural player. I mean, he does a lot of things naturally very well. And, and like I said, we've got to tighten up aspects of his game. We've got to tighten up uh, his pull-up. We've got to tighten up. Uh, you know, he and Will both have to continue to learn the, what college spacing is all about, what the spacing in our offense is. Uh, my disappointments with those two would be the lack of offensive rebounding. And, and, and that's two of the things that they're, uh, they were recruited for, that they're natural at, and, and we didn't get as much of that. But I think that's a team wide thing right now. We're not getting nearly enough offensive boards. But Victor moved the ball, got to the rim, and uh, again, there, there's, a, there's a ton of room for him to improve in all aspects of the game. We're going to stay focused on that. Where's Derek at help wise? Well, he hasn't practiced a lot. He's been in and out throughout the two weeks. So, you could call it rusty, but I'd call it, he just doesn't have real rhythm right now. But he, but he, he loosened up as the game went on. And we're going to move Derek around, and and uh, uh, he just needs he just needs some some stability of, of being able to string not just practices together, but weeks of practice together. And I think that will help him. Jeremiah has been out. Uh, he, he suffered from a concussion, so he just he's going to be out for a little while. What did Richard do? Richard just injured his hand. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. No, he hasn't missed any time. Yeah, we have to give a week off, a day off. We took Sunday off this week, so we'll give a day off next week. A lot of people out here for that. You have questions? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing else?